through the Carolina coast in the bullseye. This storm tonight, people are preparing their homes and stocking up on supplies, and some are buying boards to cover windows and glass. Others have metal hurricane reinforcements on the windows. NBC Charlotte's Evan West joining us from Wrightsville Beach with the latest. Evan. You can feel the hurricane hysteria in the air. You hear the talk everywhere you go as people prepare for what could be a historic hurricane. Before the beast of Hurricane Florence comes the beauty of a sunset and one more day for people to enjoy Wrightsville Beach. As I told my preacher, our last hurrah. Back in 1954, Ruth Green was stuck in the middle of Hurricane Hazel, the last Category 4 cane to hit the Carolina coast. I'm telling you, it was terrible. She stayed out of the water on Monday, unlike others who enjoyed the emerald green ocean, despite lifeguards' warnings. Rip currents have crushed the coast, with rescuers saving 25 people on Sunday and more than a dozen on Monday. Fortunately, no one was killed, but the risk of entering the water only increases as Hurricane Florence draws near. Category fours are totally unacceptable. The storm went from a Category 2 hurricane to a Category 4 in a matter of hours, forcing UNC Wilmington to issue a mandatory evacuation of its campus. I definitely think it's a smart decision on UNCW's part to evacuate us, um, you know, be at home with our families. Instead of the pump, Long lines were found at the ramp where boats made a beeline out of the water. It was taking all day to drop the mast and you see the final product. It's very serious, yeah. very serious. Some feel like it's only a matter of time until local officials order a mandatory evacuation, while others still holding out hope that Hurricane Florence goes somewhere else. Reporting at Wrightsville Beach on the Carolina coast, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Kevin, thanks.